Hey guys, this is part two of how to set up a Woody's Colony. So, uh, mind the mess, I'm still uh, rearranging this. Uh, I, as you can already see, I haven't built the rack yet, uh, just because I've been busy with school, so I'll do that in the holidays. But, yeah, I'll just run you through what I've changed. So, I got two containers set up over just here, and one container down there. These two are ones that I'll never touch, uh, and that one down there is a, a feeding one, just like as normal. So in here I have uh, 2,000 mix size, so uh, there's probably, uh, it looks like it's majority large, or at least 1,000 large, and then 500 medium, and maybe 500 small, but and I can't really tell because the small or the babies are just really small. So I have egg cartons set up here. So I have four on the bottom and then three stacked in the in the middle, just like that. But what I'm going to be doing is changing to these uh, rolls here, which I got from Spotlight, which is just like a a fabric type. So you can just Google it. Um, I'm not sure if. You guys have that where you live. I live in Australia. So if you live in Australia, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm not too sure if you have it wherever you are. Um, so I'm going to be changing to these. So what I'll do is I'll cut, and cut them to size. Uh, stick about five together or so. And I'll uh, use a rubber band or like a, a jockey strap, which is... Or maybe it's jockey. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's jockey strap. Uh, and just put it around. Like put it around to hold them together. Um, so it's just a little easier than egg cartons to, to use and stuff, so, yeah, I got recommended that by the breeder, I got all these off. Um, and then also I have these pellets, um, which are just like protein for the roaches, just so they're getting a good source of protein for the beer dragons to eat them and stuff, so yeah, healthy cockroaches, healthy lizards or whatever you're feeding these to. Um, and then carrot, obviously just a source of moisture and food, as you can see I put that in like two hours ago and they already devoured a lot of it. Um, and then I just have the little protein um, what are they called? Biscuits, <laughs> I know little uh, protein things, um, just in a Vegemite lid. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, what I was told to do is, oh, sorry, the exact same as in this uh, container. Just before I say anything else. Um, so what I was told to do was get 2,000 each uh, container, which I've done, and then not touch them for about three months. And then what you can do is harvest them. Oh, well, by not touch them, I just mean not feed them. So what you have to do is you'd have to clear out all the dead roaches in there. You can see there's a few in there. Um, and then, yeah, I'll, I'll have to do that soon. Um, but by not touch them, I mean just not feed them off. And that'll give the, the colony a chance to um, to build up and then what you do is you'd harvest it so you'd maybe half it or something like that I'm not sure exactly what I'll do yet but I'll see when the time comes I'll do the same for this one and then I just put them in a feeding tub that's what I'll do when I harvest it I'll just get whatever I need to feed my lizards and as time goes on, I'm going to be selling a lot of my dragons that I have um, just because I've had a few clutches hatch or six clutches hatch over the past few months so I've got a lot of mouths to feed um, so yeah, eventually uh, I won't have to feed off as much so this you probably won't need this many uh, it depends really on how many dragons you have so say if you just have one bit of dragon, you could probably go with 500 mixed and then just leave it for ages and then, yeah, that'll be more than enough. So, 
Yeah, um, so I'll just show you this one as well. It's, basically, it's the exact same setup, except I don't have a Vegemite lid because I don't have that many. Um, but yeah, same sort of thing. And you can see there's a few dead roaches in there which I'll clean up. Um, yeah, but these ones I actually feed off to my lizards. So, and also, um, the reason that I'd recommend the egg, ro uh, the, the egg rolls, the, uh, like, toilet paper rolls or, um, paper towel rolls, uh, would be, it's a lot easier to get the actual cockroaches into a container filled with calcium, because all you'd have to do is just bang it on the top. With these, you not many get in the crevices, and it's just a lot harder, um, so, yeah, there's that to keep in mind as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, in the holidays, I'm going to be uh, building a rack system. So it'll be three stacked up, and then I'll have the feeders probably on top or on the bottom, maybe. Yeah, on the bottom, so it's easy to access. Um, yeah, and that'll happen in a few weeks, I think. So... Yeah, uh, subscribe to that for that video. Thanks for watching. See ya.